Okay guys, I'm going to use a voiceover on this one. Hope you can hear me okay. This was a testing for the new camera of mine and I made a discovery during this test I'd like to share it with you. This is shot one at 120 frames per second. You can see that um, the mark is pretty close to on target here. Shot two is coming up here, 240 frames per second. The POI should stay about the same. And we have the start of a good group. I'm feeling pretty confident and I'm liking the results. Here's shot three. Still looking good. Now here's when things are going to go a little bit differently. Here comes shot four. And we can see a wobble to the pellet and the point of impact was about three inches low. I thought um, initially it was just a bad pellet and went ahead and shot my fifth shot here. So at this point in time I just dismissed it as a bad pellet and I moved on. And as you can see in the next target I didn't do too well. Target to the right. Um, I'm now on the target below the, the upper left, the left center target I'm aiming on. And there was a slight light uh, left to right wind. So that was the first, the first pellet was a good one. Here's a second shot. A little low, but still acceptable considering uh, that I'm at 100 yards here shooting. Third shot coming up here. And we see the wobble return. And that shot was way off the mark. Um, I'm now starting to wonder if I have a bad tin of pellets. Here comes the fourth shot. And we see the wobble some more. Um, that one was pretty close to one of the non-wobbly ones, but uh, still I didn't like it. I moved on to shooting shotgun shells. And now we're seeing wobbling uh, pretty consistently. This is shot one at the shotgun shells. And here is shot two. More wobble. And the point of impact seems to be a bit short for uh, many of these shots when you see that wobble. These are all at 240 frames per second. Next shot, more wobble, and still came up a little short. Sometimes the wobble seems to make the shot considerably far off, and sometimes it doesn't seem to uh, make quite as much of an impact. Here's another shot, more wobble, and it's short again. And yet another one shotgun shells right along the edge of that orange tape there. Short and to the left. Um, the wind was blowing on and off variable this day so don't put too much stock into the right and left here. Now this is shots after my barrel was cleaned. And all of these shots are directly one after another. There's no editing here. These are all one after another. All I did was run a patch through my rifle uh, two or three times. It did pull out a significant amount of lead, um, soot and lead, when I ran the patches through. and it only took uh, a couple swipes to get the bulk of the material out before um, it, they started pulling through, the patches starting, started to pull through clean. You can see that wobble is gone and uh, these were all from an unsorted tin of pellets 
so um, there was no sorting involved here. And as you can see, accuracy has improved significantly, and that wobble has completely disappeared. The, uh, the whiteness there is from uh, the guy next to me shooting uh, his deer rifle, sighting in his deer rifle. So he's kicking up a lot of, a lot of dust. So that's it, guys. That's all I have to show you. Nothing too um, technical, nothing too scientific. Just wanted to tell you that if your point of impact starts to change and your accuracy starts to fail on you, might want to rub a couple patches through your barrel and see if it doesn't improve things. Thanks for watching.